Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well we're using the great Divi Supreme modules plugin for this today and we're going to add a Lottie animation. Now this is a Lottie animation right here. They're very popular at the moment and very eye-catching things to have on your site. Very easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, I'm going to go down and delete this little module right here. I've got a section, the blue tab, with a row with two columns in it, green tab. And here's where we're going to put our Lottie animation. Now to do this particular way today, you're going to need Divi Supreme Pro installed and activated. And if I hit the add new module, Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you add Supreme modules, you get about 50 of these blue purple ones right here. And we're looking for Lottie animations. Now you can actually do this without, that's what I'm going to use today, Supreme Lottie. You can actually do this without the Supreme if you want to using a code module. Or you can upload it as an MP4 and we've done videos on this previously. But Supreme Pro gives you the opportunity to add a module dedicated to this. So we've got our module up here. Now how do we find what we want to put in there? We need a JSON file. Well if you go over to lottiefiles.com and I'll put this link below the video, they've got free and featured files that you can purchase. They're pretty cheap but I'm using a free one today. This is the one I use and may as well use that again. Now when you're ready to use one, simply click on it it'll open in a new tab and you can download it the JSON right there now you can convert these to GIFs or you can convert them to MP4 files if you're doing it via another method but I want the Lottie JSON today so I'm just going to click on there and as you can see it's downloading it to my browser window now I'm signed up for Lottie they just asked me to create a free account and it was just an email and a password I've never had an email from them so they don't spam you so the first time you use it it's probably going to ask you to sign in so we've got our little Lottie file right there now so if I go back to our page hit that upload JSON file I can simply drag it and drop it up here or you can browse to your download location and do it that way. There it is. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to upload it. And there we are. There's our little animation. And you've got various options. You can unloop it and have it just do a certain number of times. I'm going to leave mine on looped. Direction, normal or reverse. If it's a, something, you could have that guy pulling money out of there instead of putting it in. You can speed it up or slow it down. I'm going to slow mine down about halfway. There we go. Now you can have it trigger on various different events if you want to. Mouse over, on click, or when the page scrolls itself. And I think we've done a demo on the scroll before now. I'm going to have mine just play automatically when the page loads. There we go. Now at the moment it's using up 80% of the viewport. That's fine. You can make it bigger or smaller by adjusting up here. There we go. That's fine. Down below you'll find a link. And like any module you can link it and take your visitors to places if they click on it. Best practices as always. If you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off-site to somebody else's site, open in a new tab so yours stays open. You've got the option to add backgrounds if you want to. Don't know if it'd be beneficial to this, but I've got a free color picker up here. Let's just give it a gray background like this circle right here. Let's find that color. I'm going to copy that color. And let's add it right here. As you can see, I've matched that background color and we've got the whole square looking that same color. But I really don't need a color on there, but there's a great little option if you do want to style it up with the background color of your site there. 
So we'll take that away and we're good to go. And that's really all there is to it. Let's save this. Save our page changes. We'll exit the visual builder. And there we go. There's our little Lottie animation. It's going to start animating on page load there. And that's a nice little eye catching feature to have on your site. Really easy to do. Like I say, we've been using the great Divi Supreme Pro plugin for this today. You can do it without it, but that makes it a whole lot easier for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.